Jack might be embarrassed about putting on a fancy hat. I think he would look very lovely in a fancy hat. And some people make hats for their jobs. In fact, my neighbour across the road, he is a very fancy hat maker. Sometimes he makes hats for opera singers or actors or sometimes he might make hats for friends. Would you like to see the hat he made for me? It's pretty special. Hi Will, so you're a costume designer. What are some of the things that you get to do for your job? Some of the things I get to do for my job. Well, every day is a little bit different. Some days I'm putting clothes on people. Other days I'm looking for clothes to put on people. Uh, but most of the time I'm sitting at my computer drawing or I, I should probably classify that I'm a costume maker as well. So there's lots of sculpting and sewing and gluing, those types of things. So Will, when you're making hats for your job, I imagine you have to use quite special materials. I've only ever used ice cream containers and cardboard boxes. What are some of the things that you might use? Uh, well, funnily enough, we actually do use those materials in costume. Um, I use a wide range of products. This is a more traditional uh, hat making technique. This is made from a felt headpiece and stiffened with hat stiffener. So when you're making a hat, do you just make it off the top of your head or do you do some drawings first of all? So a lot of work goes into the hat before it actually becomes a hat. There's a research period where I look at all different other types of hats that have existed before. Then I go through the whole design process, which is drawing upon drawing upon drawing. Each hat, each design will probably get about 30 drawings each. And they start in a sketchbook like this one. And here's some, draw some costumes that I'm working on at the moment for a production of Sweeney Todd. And then once I've figured out the design, I'll get my paint palette, which is just a piece of newspaper. And then I'll start drawing the drawing. Uh, this is what I did yesterday. This is something I did this morning and then tomorrow I'll draw another version and I'll just keep going until I'm happy with it. So this looks like a very fancy hat. Can you tell me a little bit about that hat? Well, this hat is inspired by the sea and Marie Antoinette. She was known to, Marie Antoinette was very, uh, was, was, a, was the queen of France and she used to wear ships on her head just like this one. But unlike Marie Antoinette, this is not made out of horsetail. We've made this just out of building foam. There's lots of building materials in my hat making process. How does it look? You look amazing. Thank you. So what are some of the kind of materials that you might put on a fancy hat? Uh, well, I guess typically the most common material would be feathers. These are ostrich feathers. Um, and this is what they look like before they get dyed. And these I dipped in fuchsia. And if you can see, some of them have turned out electric pink. That is so cool. Mm. So that's going to, these ones are, these are all finished. So they're going to go on a hat very soon. Look at this incredible hat. I can't even fit it into the whole frame, but you can see how amazing it is. Shall I put it on? Are you ready? All right. Do you think I look like a famous dancer in my glorious fancy hat? Thank you, William, for my hat. <laughs>